Can I use your bike? I need to go down the road to pick up Kim. Yes, of course. Go ahead. Thank you. Do you have your license? You might have to go through a roadblock. Phew! Good thing you warned me. I wouldn't want to be fined. Hi there! You're watching youcan.vn. I'm Georgia, and today we'll be talking about phrasal verbs. Sometimes when you use a verb with another word, like a preposition, it takes on a certain meaning. For example, when you say switch off, this has a very different meaning from switch on. Here, the prepositions on and off give the expression specific meaning. We call these phrasal verbs. Today, we'll concentrate on phrasal verbs which use the verb go. Let's get started. One example of a phrasal verb is go down. This means to descend, so it's the opposite of go up. A great idea for a date, for example, is to watch the sun go down. Uh, we call this a sunset. But make sure you find somewhere with a beautiful view. The price of something or the temperature could also go down. You could say the price of petrol is going down tomorrow. Here we mean it will lower or decrease rather than physically descend. Go down can also refer to swallowing food. A delicious meal will go down well and a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Our second phrase for this lesson is go ahead. This refers to continuing or proceeding. It's often used to speak about plans. For example, our idea has been approved. We can go ahead and start making our new product. Or go ahead can be used to mean physically go ahead or in front of somebody else. Sam went hiking with Emma and said, I've hurt my ankle. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up later. Our last phrasal verb is go through. It can mean to pass through something. On our journey, we'll go through so many small towns. How boring. You could also use it to go through a tunnel or a doorway. However, this phrase is often used to mean to experience something. If something bad happens, you could say, I'm going through a lot right now. It's most often used when a relationship ends. My friend Ella is very sad. She's going through a breakup. I know you've all been listening carefully, so let's check that you know your phrasal verbs. Here is a short quiz to make sure you've been concentrating. Complete these three sentences using multiple choice. I've never made this meal before. I'm not sure how it will A. Go down B. Go ahead Two, the rain has stopped. Our soccer match will A. Go through B. Go ahead Three, be kind to people. You never know what they are A. Going through B going down. How do you think you did? Check your answers by clicking on the link attached under the video description section. You can also download the video with its script and mp3 file for further practice. Now you know three new phrasal verbs. Using expressions like these will really take your English to the next level. The time has come for us to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon. You want to learn more about phrasal verbs? Click the link below and get all the lessons in the course.